Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Class of Heroes 2G Remaster Edition. Last episode, we explored the final floor of the Ancient Ruin. I got a little salty, and I think it was justified because of some BS uh, Deep Zone plus Anti-Magic Zone traps. One of which was set up right before a tough, nasty boss, so it really seemed uh, like some real middle finger game design, but we got through it, which is the important thing. And you may notice, if you're very sharp-eyed, that I have a lot less G up there at the top of the screen than I did at the end of the previous episode. That's because, off-screen, I looked up an alchemy recipe guide and did a crap load of synthesizing with all the ingredients that I got on my foray. And I managed to make some pretty nice new stuff for some of my characters. So Wheeler here is now wielding a Morning Star. As you can see from that 44 to 274 power, that is going to have him hitting very hard. I don't remember if the Barbuta plus one is new or not. I think I got that last episode. The scale leggings are new. Uh, those are giving him some nice defense and evasion. Candy is now wielding a scythe. The uh, Reaper's Notebook plus I think some iron is what got me the scythe. I think Shattered Ball or Shattered Iron Ball is what got me the Morning Star, which uh, has her power at 31 to 273, which is ridiculous. Even more ridiculous is that it is a one-handed weapon. So I currently have her equipped with an Aspis, so that she has a shield, increasing her defense and evasion. I could consider having her dual wield, since, again, completely ridiculously, this is a uh, one-handed weapon. And maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make that change. I also made her some iron armor, which has some nice defense and great evasion on it. Uh, and this rosary plus one, which gives spell resistance plus. The shattered crucifix uh, made, the, made the rosary, the melted armor made the iron armor. I think that she already had the legacy boots plus six. Didn't I pick that up in the labyrinth? Uh, I made the oni slicer for Grum, he's kind of getting the short end of the stick here because its power is only 27 to 150. I say only, but compared to these behemoths, that's not really that much. Uh, I think the samurai helm is new. That's giving him some defense and evasion. Uh, was it the Hanya mask that made that? It might have been. Uh, I don't remember if the leather leggings are new. Oh yeah, the scale leggings are new if I didn't already mention those. He already had the regular rosary, I believe. Uh, let's see, Seraphi might actually not have anything new. She might have really gotten the short end of the stick. I'm not sure she got any of the stuff I've been synthesizing. Uh, I got a Witch Cloak for Sherry, which uh, gives Accuracy 1, Evasion 2, and Spell Effectiveness Plus. Uh, and I, these Magic Glasses, which uh, give Accuracy plus 2 and Evasion plus 1. Uh, and Aisha... I think these long pants might be new. I'm not sure I manufactured those, though. I might have just had them in my inventory. It's just defense one, evasion plus one, but hey, every little bit helps. Uh, the gazelle legs uh, made the gazelle plus one, which gives her defense three, uh, evasion two, accuracy minus one, but for all that defense and evasion, I'll accept accuracy minus one. And she already uh, got the goemon's, or goemon's pipe last episode, I do believe. Uh, and I think, I don't think I had the Leather Shield plus two equipped on her last time, though I don't remember for sure. So, pretty awesome equipment that we now have for our party. Let me real quick do what I just said I would do and consider uh, having Candy dual wield. So which of these is one-handed? The Light Hero Sword is two-handed. I don't think she can use the Katana. Yeah, that's not a fighter weapon. She could use the nunchucks, which are one-handed. The battle hammer is two-handed. Oh, I did manufacture the battle hammer as well, but it ended up not being better than the scythe in the Morning Star, and Grum can't use it. Uh, so, I just have it in storage for now. I probably should just sell it, because uh, I, I have stuff that's just straight up better. So yeah, maybe I should just pull it out of storage and sell it. So let me see, how do I feel about putting the nunchucks as her secondary weapon? It does lower her accuracy a lot, though. It's kind of weird that it doesn't decrease her defense and evasion. Does it really not? Why wouldn't it? 
Oh, because the nunchucks themselves have defense and evasion. Okay, that's a good reason. How much will it matter reducing her accuracy by that much? It does, it will increase her damage without lowering any of her defensive attributes. We'll try it. But I'm going to keep the Aspis in my inventory in case I decide I don't like it. In case she's missing too much. So let me go to the store and sell the uh, Battle Hammer. That accuracy minus 5 is kind of brutal too. And yeah, as good as it is, the Morningstar and the Scythe are better, so... Goodbye. Alright. Now we had a lot of quests that became available, as we saw. So this is probably going to be mostly a quest accepting episode, since cutscenes take longer with all the voice acting. Redeeming Copa's name. That sounds like a tall order. What did you do this time, Copa? Well, that just makes him sound completely worthless. Well, now he sounds even more worthless. Olive, you're just running him down. He shouldn't need help to do that. He should do it himself. Oh, that Copa, what a card. If I must. That would be Tiramisu, I assume. Uh, so many quests that I only take because I'm a quest completionist. Beautiful view from up here. Well, I mean, you could stop acting like a child, Copa. That's an idea. <laughs><笑><笑> Uh, didn't I have one of those and probably sell it or something? It's so hard to tell what are quest items. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a susp suspicious denial. Uh -huh. I see that uh, the the name of this item is so legendary that it prevents any more text from being displayed once it appears. It will not countenance any more text appearing once it has displayed, you see. I kind of figured it was you, Tiramisu. That little fish hair ornament is kind of adorable. <laughs> you should have known better. The, its name just changed completely! Is it a noble top or a high class uniform? This localization. Tiramisu, I think you're in serious denial about your love interest's value as a sentient being. Is it a high class uniform or is it a noble top? Ah! Do I have one in storage? I don't think so. I do not. 
I don't have either of those things, whichever one it is. Do is one for sale. I don't see one for sale. Uh, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit and uh, bring up this alchemy guide I was using. Okay, the word noble does not appear. I actually brought up two alchemy guides because a lot of the names changed uh, from one version of the game to the next. The word noble does not appear in either of them. What about high class? That appears a lot of times. High class cloth, apparently. It only appears as an ingredient name. I don't see high class uniform. Okay, the word uniform doesn't appear at all in this guide. How about this other one? Uh, there's academy uniform. Okay, wow, the word uniform appears a gazillion times in the other one. Uh, what if I narrow it down to uniform top? Okay, there's five of those. Academy, Campus, Soldier, Karate, and Popular. Okay, neither of them. Neither of the Alchemy Guides has any... Any insight into how I can acquire one of these. Uh, Alright, well, we're... Um, well, one thing I'll do real quick. Is there anything that says, like, High Class or Noble for sale here? Oh, that's the wrong category. It wouldn't be that one anyway. Idiot. I didn't see the word noble or high class anywhere in this list of stuff. What about in my storage? I don't know why I go from the bottom up. I'm not seeing it here either. Okay, well, I don't think we have it. and I don't think we can make it. Whatever it's called. So we'll just have to keep an eye out. Oh, that's annoying. Next. Cursed Bloody Sword, posted by Rosie. Ruote's attacking stu- Oh, Ru Ruote, did you find an evil sword that took you over? Take the sword from him and save him. If this is going to throw us straight into a battle, I'm going to save real quick. ロッシ先生 Okay. You just want to see Rosi Sensei because you have a crush on him all, if you're not fooling me. Ooh, we get, uh. We get this. This creepy music. The, the menu music. あくまでも出そうな雰囲気なんだけど。よう、オメラ。オメラも気づいたかい。うちの道場少し様子が違うだろ。うう、少し違うところと騒ぎじゃないやる。Can candidly Sfoglia, I kind of thought you would be the cause of this evil aura. こんな濃厚な正気の中じゃ、剣の特もできないやる。正気誰かさんが封印してあった <laughs> その剣は持ち主の能力を最大限発揮させる代わりに持ち主の心を奪い、ひたすら血を求める強戦士に変えちまう。呪われた剣で。
That's kind of badass, but also a little useless. Still searching for the world's strongest sword. Ooh. Excuse me. I mean, if he has reached his full potential and is now a bloodthirsty berserker, that doesn't sound that simple. その上精神を乗っ取る。恐ろしい訓で。ルオーでは元から優秀な生徒ある。ただでさえ手強いのに、剣の力でさらに強くなってるね。戦闘は避けられないってことね。まあ、それでもルオーテは一人だからな。大
すればその思いが伝わるのかなってなんでそれじゃあそうしそうあやる面白くないやるな Oh, does Rosie like Trenet too? Well, this, this is going to be easily re Well, I don't know. Given the improbable personalities involved, I have to take that back. Maybe that won't be so easily resolved. You two sound like you'd be pretty awkward together. <laughs> it kind of does. Also, how do you know Trent? Well, I guess there's ways you could know. The RARO, the RARO? I can see a lot of ways this plan could go poorly. Why does this have to be so roundabout? Can't you just. Oh my gosh, these people have problems. You're just trying to write your own romance story, Olive. Am I just going to just watch events unfold? Is this a really easy quest? I had forgotten uh, these alter. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's nothing I can say to make this better. Words are not needed from me. Ridiculous. The afro that doesn't even cover her real hair. <laughs> Oh, we, we have to fight. Wait, we're getting dragged into this. Uh, is this another unwinnable battle? Is Rosie actually strong, despite what a sad nerd he is? Well, let's find out. Uh, let's take this fight seriously. Let's put up an impenetrable wall. Focus, focus. You can just attack. Uh, hmm. See how he likes fire. Put up a magic barrier. If we can steal from him. Hey, we actually did more than one point of damage. Oh, he regens 50 points per round, but 
Let's see what Wheeler and Candy can get done with those overpowered weapons in Fierce Slash mode. Let's see if how Aqua does. I'm actually surprised that we do real damage to him. Maybe this is a winnable fight. Okay, he... Alright, we hit him that time. Okay, he's hard to hit. Okay, uh... This is going okay. So... Alright. Oops, no, that's not what I meant to do! That's not what I meant to do! Oh, I... Oh, that's frustrating. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well... <sighs> we wasted a turn, and he got regen. I, that was just total misclick. That's so frustrating. Go ahead and cast Omni Sight a bunch, though, Grum. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Maybe this isn't really meant to be winnable, I'm not sure. I'm frustrated with myself for having wasted that one turn. This with that misclick. Good, good. Okay, that was pretty effective. Amazingly, nobody died. Good, good. We did it! We won! Alright, so he is defeatable. Uh, also... That, that is problematic for the quest. He was supposed to win. Oh, he knows anyway. Man, that pompadour. So we were holding back Rosie, is that why we were able to win? <笑>お見それしました。わあ。これは何の茶番で理由を聞こうじゃねえか。場合によっちゃ。待ってください。その子たちは悪くありません。私が行けないんです。取れねってさ。皆さんは私のために。その私が言えないから。Oh, come on, Trenet. Just confess your feelings. Oh, my gosh, she said it. She just came out and said it. Good job, Trenet. I think he might not be able to handle it, though. Did, did he pass out standing up? Yeah, yes. Yes, he did. Rosie, Rosie, you're, you're kind of pathetic in your way. Uh, is it though? Did, are are they are they an item now? <笑>何はともあれお疲れ様。あの二人うまくいくといいね。あ、そうそう。これトレネッテさんから渡されたの。みんなにお礼って。A All right, we did it. Oh, and we, we get a free refill on our HP and MP. That's awesome. Uh, so, about this circlet. That's probably a head item. Everybody's wearing a head item. Okay, I was assuming... Okay, yes, but... Uh, let's see. It lowers her accuracy, but I don't know that I care that much about that. Defense and evasion plus one. Oh, the one person for whom it would be an improvement. 
Well, okay, no, maybe it might not. Yeah, it might, actually might not be an improvement for Aisha. It's not really better for anybody. Maybe I should just sell it. Oh, 620. That's surprisingly good, considering it's not much of an item, really. Oh, well, I'll take the money. Thank you. Also, just a second. Uh, I appear to have gotten a text that may be important, so I do apologize. Ordinarily, I just ignore my phone while I'm recording LPs, but this one may deserve my attention. Okay, there we go. That didn't take long to answer. Uh, two more quests to accept. That one we were able to complete right away, so that was great. Okay, the precious treasure. Posted by Rosi. My dumb disciple. Oh, Sophia. さっぱり想像がつかないわね。謎だわ。インディ。ロシ先生のことだから時代劇とかに出てくる異国のよくわかんない道具なんでしょうね。<笑><笑><笑> You know, Olive's just low-key burns of the faculty members non-stop kind of crack me up. It's like she's really sassy and saucy, but it's like she's not even doing it on purpose. It, it's pretty amusing. <laughs> I'm really warming up to tread it. そこに直れ。成敗してくれる。ガラクタが消えたぐらいでなんで。全く血の穴の小さい男ある。ごめん。女のくせに血の穴とか口走ってんじゃねえ。あ。老師先生、客人ね。やるか。この you, you sure like blackmailing and extorting Rosi Sensei's folia. You're really not a good person. Uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling we were just treated to a Japanese pun that doesn't translate very well. It sounded like Sophia was saying Uchujin, which means like alien, as in, you know, like space alien. Uchujin literally means space person. Well, that's, that's a tragedy, Roshi. Roshi. Mm. Does that work? I mean, I understand that resurrection is a thing in this game. And that if resurrection fails, you turn to ash. But it's still possible to resurrect somebody from ash. Does that work for inanimate objects, though? Okay, that answers my question. No, that doesn't work. Okay. 
She actually fell silent. This may be a first. Oh, haven't I found those? This is definitely referencing something of which I have no knowledge. Yeah, this is definitely referencing something that I don't know about. <sighs> I feel like I got a paper lantern at some point. I probably just discarded it or sold it like a moron. Well, not really like a moron, because who can even flip and tell what's a quest item in this game? Sephoria's <laughs> life is in our hands. You're saved by my quest completionism, Sephoria. It's okay, Sfolia. I'm a quest completionist. You'll be fine. Oh, good, because if I don't have the paper lantern in storage, I would not know where to get it. Oh, is that where I'm remembering it from? Because that was very recent. Okay. Of course, it's also possible my memory is completely making that up and I never got any at all. That is entirely possible. What category would that even fall under? Well, I guess I can just look at the all category. No paper lanterns here. Did I put one in storage? Oops, not rest. Storage. Take any paper lanterns. Not seeing any. Did I sell any at the store? Oh my gosh, it would take me a million years to look through all this crap. Look at all this. Oh, I can buy recipes here. This is how I can get them legitimately. Oh, I can get a Goimon's pipe. Well, I already have one, so that's not really necessary. Okay, well that answer is where do I get the recipes then. But, uh, honestly, they're kind of expensive. I don't feel too bad about just looking up the recipes online, to be honest. <laughs> Is this mostly just recipes? Okay, we're out of the recipes. Paper lantern... This high-class cloth, which might allow me to make a high-class uniform? Wow, 10,000 G. Hmm. Maybe I never got one. Like I said, I could be making it up entirely. But we know that we can get them in the Ancient Labyrinth, so... Oh, I can buy a Wyvern Summon ticket, and I absolutely will. Oh, well, unless it's a piece of equipment, which seems unlikely. I'll buy it not impossible. Good lord, retardedly expensive yet worthless gem swords. Okay, I didn't see any. Well, like I said, uh, Sfolia has informed us where we can find them, so... The Girl and the Dragon. The dragon seems to have captured an injured Celestian. Please look into it. Posted by Vesse. I think this is the last one. 
yeah, so we'll be closing out the episode once we take this quest. I kind of figured that taking the quest would take the entire episode, you know, with all the voice acting. This actually might be major story progress. I'm vaguely remembering that this actually might be an important quest. Many quests lead in that direction because we've got to take the one about the black cloaked people attacking people on the, um, uh, which is forest, which also leads to the path to the ruins where there's a quest apparently, which also leads to the ancient labyrinth where we can get a quest item. So most roads are leading in that direction. Not all of them, though, because there's a Swordsman's Pass where we have to take down a Berserk Ruote. And I don't even know where we're going to get that uniform that Kopa wants. Okay. Do I have to report into the office or anything? Looks like I've basically already taken it, so I don't think so. I think I've taken everything. I just go to the office real quick. Yeah, I don't have a report option, so... Let's browse again. No, don't station the current party. Huh, weird. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this one. Basically just uh, taking care of business here at Crostini, but we have... We have a lot of things we need to do now. Uh, let's check the world map real quick. So I'm thinking that going to Swordsman's Pass, which is this way, I believe, might be the first thing I do to take care of the Berserk Ruote. And then I'm going to go to the Witch's Forest and see if I can find those Black Cloaks, uh, go to Bruschetta, and uh, go along the path to the Ancient Labyrinth, uh, and then Ancient Labyrinth itself, and do those quests. And at some point, we need to return to the desert and fully explore that and check out the uh, the tomb that I know is there. We haven't gone to it yet, but I remember that tomb fairly vividly. Maybe a quest will take us there eventually. It probably will. But if not, then I'll check it out of my own volition at some point. Anyway, that's the rough plan. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make a save. I might as well overwrite my main save at this point. There we go. All right, so that's the stuff that's going to be coming up in the next episode. Well, probably next few episodes. I doubt we'll get all of that done in one. <laughs> I'll see you then.